Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the smartest countries in the world. Imagine the world is a high school. You've got the big jock countries like Australia, South Africa, and the USA. You've got the self-consciously old-fashioned intellectuals like Britain and France. And then you've got the cool kids that everyone wants to hang out with like Italy. But what about the brain boxes? Who in our analogy are the nerds spending their spare time in the science labs while the other countries are learning to smooch and bum smokes? Well, thanks to some slightly dubious science, we possibly have the answer. Between 2002 and 2006, a joint British-Finnish study carried out IQ tests in countries all over the world and then ranked each nation by their average national score. While IQ tests may not be perfect, they miss intelligence defects that even clever people suffer from, it still makes for a fun comparison. Well, essentially in today's video, we'd look at what countries would be getting beaten up for their lunch money. Number 10. Austria. Average IQ 100. We're going to go out on a limb here and suggest that not many of us associate intelligence with wearing lederhosen, but maybe that's why we've all been underestimating Austria for so long. They're willing to dress like a person with their fashion sense surgically removed because they don't care what we think. They are simply too busy using those gigantic sausage and beer fueled brains of theirs to pay attention to mere mortals like us. Part of Austria's genius may be due to its comparative wealth. The CIA World Factbook ranks it as the 33rd richest nation by GDP per capita, which doesn't sound all that impressive until you realize that the much larger UK ranks at number 40. Since income and education tend to go hand in hand, it stands to reason that Austria might have more brains to spare, especially given its tiny population. Only 8,474 million people call this spectacular Alpine nation home, fewer than the Czech Republic, fewer than Cuba, fewer than even London. Historically, the Austrians have certainly put their big brains to good use. The Habsburg dynasty once ruled most of Europe. Number 9. Switzerland. Average IQ 101. A short hop across a near impenetrable barrier of frozen mountains from Austria, there is Switzerland. It's the place to be if you want cuckoo clocks, triangular chocolate, guns, or Nazi gold. It's also home to some of the smartest people on the planet. Yes, the Swiss apparently value intellectualism almost as much as they value morally dubious neutrality. And they certainly have the historical figures to back up this claim. It was in the capital of Bern that the German-born Albert Einstein dreamed up his general theory of relativity. So what is it about living in this bracing mountain environment that turns these Swiss into such geniuses? Well, to start off, they are very, very rich. Seriously, if you were able to grab Switzerland by its ankles, turn it upside down and shake it vigorously enough, spare change would fall out to finance at least three globe-straddling empires. The multilingualism of the Swiss may also help too. At the federal level, Switzerland gives German, French, and Italian equal weight, which may be significant as some studies link speaking multiple languages with increased intelligence. On the other hand, maybe they're just spending so much time avoiding fighting wars that they've got time to read all those brainy books gathering dust on other nations' shelves. Number 8. Mongolia. Average IQ 101. A great big expanse of vast steppe in Asia, Mongolia has desert, mountains, yurts, and almost nothing else. And we really do mean that in all seriousness. Despite being big enough to squash Texas and California flat and still have room for Montana, it is home to barely 3 million people, most of whom could spend their whole lives swinging a string of dead cats and never get even remotely close to hitting anything. And what's one apparent upside of all of this space? Well, that's lots and lots of intelligence. When you think about it, Mongolia scoring so highly is kinda unexpected. While breathtaking, their country is not rich. The CIA World Factbook ranks them at 122 for GDP per capita, only slightly above Albania. But it seems what little money they do have, they spend wisely. The country ranks surprisingly high on education, beating out even some European systems. On perhaps a more controversial note, some race realists have suggested the Mongolians may naturally have better visual spatial awareness, giving their overall IQ scores an additional boost. Whatever the truth, though, it seems that one thing is clear. If you ever have a hankering for sparkling intellectual discussion in the emptiest landscape in the world, definitely go to Mongolia. Number 7. Iceland. Average IQ, 101. And we're back in Europe, this time in the far-frozen lands of the north, where banking is synonymous with crime and summer is just God's cruel joke, breaking up the punishment of winter. 
Yes, it's the teeny tiny nation of Iceland, a place that was once just a glorified fishing port, which became a casino banking mecca and is now famous as one of the richest and safest countries on earth. Evidently, all of that safety, combined with all that enforced time spent indoors escaping the weather, has created a nation with a lot of time to study. What's amazing about this is that you wouldn't have put money on Iceland hitting so high in these rankings a few decades ago. Prior to the 1980s, the very literally named Land of Ice was a kind of mid ranking boring outpost of fishermen. The economy exploded in the 1980s, blew up even larger in the 90s, and somehow managed to claw out of the devastating financial crash by turning the entire country into one of the world's tourist hotspots. You see, that's those clever Icelandic brains for you, thinking their way out of a pickle that doesn't involve reckless borrowing or blowing the national budget on lottery tickets. Number 6. Italy. Average IQ 102. Oh, come on, this isn't really fair. I mean, Italy's already got class, it's got great looks, a cool persona, and more sun than most of us will ever see in a lifetime. And now we are telling you that they've also got a world-beating IQ. We don't want to moan and say it isn't fair, because, well, we all know that life isn't fair. The cause of high Italian IQ is as mysterious to us as it is to you. Going on a long Google adventure mostly turned up blogs with names like Race Realist and Not Politically Correct, so we decided it'd probably be more fun, not to mention more informative for all of us, if we just cracked some light-hearted jokes about pasta and pizza. However, we could also consider the fact that Italy has got a long and illustrious past as the seat of the Roman Empire, which was a multi-nation state that made staggering scientific and engineering advances at a rate usually reserved for countries in the grip of the Industrial Revolution. It's also produced art and literature that still stands up some 2,000 years later. Number 5. Taiwan. Average IQ, 104. So this is a little controversial. We've included Taiwan on this list of countries while excluding Hong Kong, despite the international community recognizing both as part of China. While it is true that Taipei doesn't have a seat at the UN and isn't included on any official list of countries, but it's also completely self-governing and calls itself separate from China, and it functions like a totally independent state, so we're actually going to include it here. And that's just as well because Taiwan's average IQ is enough to leave other countries eating its dust. Founded after Chairman Mao's victorious forces chased his enemies off the Chinese mainland at the conclusion of the Chinese Civil War, Taiwan is a prosperous, forward-thinking nation that also just so happens to look darn fine in a picture. You better believe Taipei uses that prosperity to invest in its young. A 2015 study by the OECD comparing data from 76 studies placed Taiwan's education at the fourth best in the entire world. Just in case you're wondering here, the USA came in at number 28. And from this, it's probably no surprise to you that an intelligent population might have something to do with how heavily a country invests in its education system. Number 4. China. Average IQ 105. If any Taiwanese readers were hoping to beat out their old nemesis in these rankings, well, we've got some bad news. The original study this article was based on had mainland China just edging out its breakaway state with an average IQ of 105 compared to Taiwan's 104. Well, at least the Taiwanese can comfort themselves because they have a functioning democratic system. Actually, what's driving China's high score is unfortunately hard to say. Beijing is notoriously uncooperative about divulging actual useful data relating to a lot of fields, and the OECD education rankings just miss China entirely. Still, China certainly has its fair share of very smart people. The Middle Kingdom is competing and outperforming the US in key technological sectors, and much of the most interesting cutting-edge tech is now coming with a made-in-China stamp. On the other hand, China is also notorious for grade inflation and handing out junk degrees from its universities. So we're not really sure what this all tells us, except perhaps for reinforcing our introductory point about the IQ study this article is based on being more of a guideline than the last word on the subject. Number 3. Japan. Average IQ 105. Still in Asia, the next country on our list is one famous for technology, cuteness, and generally doing so many things in such a weird way that it fueled basically 90% of early internet memes. Yep, Japan is another world leader in the being really ridiculously smart stakes, romping home with an average IQ of 105. We're all familiar with the Japanese stereotypes, absurdly hardworking, absurdly dedicated to their jobs, and absurdly stressed out by their high-pressure schooling. But, well, it really seems to be working. In that 2015 study we told you about earlier, the OECD ranked Japan joint fourth with Taiwan for education, where math and science was concerned. Given their great educational system and general braininess, it's perhaps no surprise that Japan spent decades at the forefront of technological change. For a long, long time, everything exciting and important was coming out of Tokyo. Number 2. South Korea. Average IQ, 106. 
Did you know that South Korea comes third in the global education rankings? Well, if you didn't, well, surprise. And get used to these references, by the way, because from here on out, all countries are ones that are going at the education rankings like gangbusters. The democratic brother of a despotic North Korea, South Korea is a high-tech paradise with world-beating internet, widespread use of smartphones, and all other things that point to an entire industry of clever people doing clever things to collectively make the world a cleverer place. And all of this in a country that manages to cram more than 51 million people into a place smaller than Iceland, which, by the way, has a population of 334,000. Now, of course, a lot of South Korea's intelligence wins likely come from it being a very wealthy country with a sterling education system. Not that it was always this way, though. Back in the dark ages of the mid-20th century, Pyongyang was actually richer than its southern neighbor by a significant margin. North Korea was blessed with the monetary backing of the Soviets and had huge amounts of mineral wealth. South Korea, by contrast, had to transform itself through sheer brute willpower alone. Even if we ignore the IQ scores, well, it definitely paid off. Number 1. Singapore. Average IQ, 108. When Singapore declared independence from Malaysia in 1965, it was one of the poorest states in the world. Literacy was at third world levels. Certainly not a desirable start for a country that wanted to be a world leader in education, attainment, and wealth. Yet, somehow, Singapore managed to pull it off. From being a tiny island with no natural resources, its exceptionally long-serving leader, Lee Kuan Yew, managed to turn his home into a global powerhouse. In doing so, he raised the education level of Singaporeans so high that they cruised to an easy first place in these very rankings. According to the OECD, Singapore has the single greatest education system in the world. The only other territory that has the same level on the IQ rankings is Hong Kong, but since that isn't a country, it doesn't get a spot on this list. The city-state, one of only three left in existence, is also home to fantastic infrastructure and cleanliness that is so strictly enforced you can get publicly caned just for chewing gum. Whether that's worth it just to live surrounded by a country of brain boxes is another matter entirely. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, some other videos from the archives that you might enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching.